First, go into Edit, and then go into Preferences, and look up Sapling Tree Gen. Check mark this box, go back to Blender, click Shift A, add a curve, and add a Sapling Tree Gen. I'm just going to leave it on the default tree, because uh, I think this is good for what I'm doing today. Okay, after you get your tree, uh, go into Object, uh, Convert to Mesh from Curve. And once you're done with that, go into Shading, Add a New Material, and get an image texture and open your texture. Once you have your bark texture in your tree, go to edit, preferences, and make sure that you have the import images as planes. So make sure that's checked. Uh, go back, go to file, import, images as planes, and open your branch file. Once you have your branch file, go to shading, uh, add mix mode, mix shader node, the transparent node, and then add a color ramp. Uh, put the color into the factor and drag the texture into the color ramp and then drag around the slider until only the leaves show and now you have a leaf texture. Once you have your leaf texture click the cursor and click on the very end of the stem and then go object set origin to 3D cursor. Once we have that we're gonna make the branch so move the cursor over here do shift A cube Scale it down, go to the Modifiers tab, and click on Subdivision Surface. Once you have that, go into Edit Mode. Make the branch by extruding faces, and then going over here to the Loop Cut. Clicking and holding a Loop Cut and dragging it to where you want the branch section to come off of. And then clicking the face and then extruding it twice. And keep doing this until you have a branch. Okay, and once you have your branch done, uh, click O for proportional editing and start dragging around the branches just to give it a more organic feel. Okay, and once you have your branch done, give it your same texture that you gave your tree and make sure to UV wrap it. Okay, and then once you're done with that, go to weight paint mode and start uh, painting on the end of the branches. Click on the branch and go into the particle settings, add a particle system, uh, click hair, click advanced, scroll down to vertex groups, uh, click density and then click on group, and then click on render and select object and then use the eyedropper and select your branch. And once you're done with that, uh, adjust the scale and the scale randomness and then go up to source, uncheck even distribution, click random, um, then go into the rotation, check mark rotation, uh, drag the phase all the way to one, and then randomness all the way to two, and then maybe just the number of leaves down, because this is a lot of leaves, and then adjust the scale accordingly. Go to the Modifiers tab and click Convert, and then click on your branch and get rid of the particle system. Okay, once you have your branch selected, click B and highlight all of the leaves, and then click Control J, and that will join everything together. Okay, once you have that, click on your tree, and then add a new particle system, and go into white paint mode. Uh, only paint the outside branches and then rotate it to get all the other branches. Once you're done with wave paint, click on hair, then scroll down to vertex groups, density, group, and then go to render as object and use the eyedropper tool again and select the branch. Uh, scale up accordingly and randomize it a bit. Go into shading, make sure you have your leaf material selected. Uh, add a mix RGB, then a color ramp, and give the color ramp some fall leaf colors. So we get it some dark reds, we get it some yellows, Oops. we get some yellows. Okay, and now that we're done with that, add a geometry node, drag the position 
into the factor and then add a mapping node drag the Y location up until there is some green at the bottom of your tree and you might also have to rotate it so that it is flat okay and I like that so and then what you're going to want to do is drag the position into the factor in the color ramp and add a noise texture node okay and make sure when you do the color ramp put the interpolation on ease and you're done before you render it out make sure to go to light paths max bounces and at transparency take it up to like 160